life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Alabama has told only Tenderfoot that his injury was received as the result of an altercation with Steve Bradford. He told the rest of the outfit that he merely became dizzy and fell from his horse. Alabama has not yet recovered enough to move from his cot in the bunkhouse, so the boys are keep keeping him company with their music. Let's listen. Pigeon toes and hair jet black Was so cross I tore her back She cried and tears rolled down her back Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas The only gal I ever loved Lived down in Arkansas Deacon Jones had a set in hand Down in Arkansas Gave it to my brother Ben down in Arkansas From a pair of pants Ben made a nest hey, oh. Told that hen to do her best That hen hatched out a cold and vest Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas Down in Arkansas The only gal I ever loved Boys, if you keep that up, you're going to have a hard time keeping me in this bunk, I'm telling you. You better not try getting up, Alabama. We promised Rose we'd make you lay quiet. Say, it was Arizona she told to watch, Alabama. What's happened to that hombre? Oh, he's got something mysterious on his mind. Been getting off in a corner and reading some sort of a book. It's the first time I ever saw him read anything. I guess Mr. Carter must have given it to him. He just came back from Danville this morning. Yeah, so I noticed. I saw him and Steve Bradford right up to the ranch house a little bit ago. Steve Bradford? He came over here? Oh, hold yourself down, Tenderfoot. You're going to ruin things if you don't. Well, I'm keeping quiet then, Alabama, but I can't see how he'd have the nerve after what he did to... Well, <coughs> all right. Uh, uh, what's happened to the music, boys? <laughs> Let's get to going again. Hey, what, what's oh, all the excitement Bobby, out there? Well, Mr. Bobby, is they after me? Is they follow me? Oh, now, what do you suppose is wrong with Cookie? Oh, well, yeah, it seems to me that Cousinero is always somewhere yeah. except in a chuck house. Now, what's eating on you, Cookie? Whirlwind. He, whirlwind. Well, what about Whirlwind? He, that bro of yours didn't really wake up, he did he? Yes, he practically. Well, oh, whirlwind, my bureau. He, well, come on. Let's go down and see what's wrong with Cookie's yeah, bureau. Yeah. Yeah. We'll never get anything out of Cookie. <laughs> I don't, don't go on y'all go down there let you oh, over where he, he hand you. Oh. Hey, you maverick, you. What in tarnation you talking about? Oh, yeah. Whirlwind down, there. kicked you? Uh, no, he didn't kick me. He he talked to me. Whirlwind, well, that bro oh, talked to well, me. Yeah, he said, he said to me, he said, you dirty dish rag. 
<laughs> Did he say I have nothing but a flat nose doggy? <laughs> Don't you go down there. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, I always did crazy. think you was loco, uh, but now uh, I know yeah. it. Well, I ain't going to let nothing like this pass me up. <laughs> I'm going to see this talking wonder of cookies. <laughs> Rest all you want to go? You sure. couldn't oh, get me away. Yeah, you better you take your resolve. Oh, well, when he's oh, practically oh. handed, I don't like it. Sorry you can't come along, Alabama, but we'll tell you all about it. Well, you boys go ahead. I don't figure you're going to see much. <laughs> well, Cookie, that might not be a bad idea. A talking burrow be mighty good company for you. <laughs> come on, boys. Whirlwind's standing down there near the barn now. Yeah, let's go down and talk politics with him. <laughs> I ain't getting no closer. You, you can go down there if you want to. I well, there he is. Huh? Let's see him talk a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, Whirlwind. Express yourself. How are you? I can't complain now. What? How are you, boy? Well, 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 it, 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 well you can uh, knock uh, me over uh, with a feather. Uh, that bro uh, is talking. Yeah. How well. about another bucket of oats? Make it snappy. Yeah, that talking comes right from where a whirlwind's standing. You better come so back not. here. I done told you you was hanging. Hey, hey, rustle up them oats. I ain't waiting all day. Well, well, our voice <laughs> does sound like it's coming yeah, from it right does. where whirlwind's standing. Well, seeing's believing, but a burrow couldn't talk. We all must be dreaming or something. Say, wonder what that barrel's doing over there. Barrel. You're going loco, Idaho? What's that got to do with this? I was just wondering. Back up here, hey. whirlwind. Hey. Hey. That's just what I'm remembering. Huh? Now let's see you kick, Whirlwind. Land into that barrel. Huh? Don't mind my twisting your ears, do you? Hey, look out. Do what are you doing? Hey, look out. Get that burrow out of here. Get out of this barrel. Whoa, why, it's Arizona in that barrel. Well, I'll be a loop-legged cowpoke. Arizona was under that barrel. What were you doing there? Oh, gosh, hang it. Let me out of here. What do you think you're doing, Idaho? Backing that burrow up to my barrel. I kind of thought a burrow couldn't talk. So I figured I'd find who was talking under that barrel. Come on, own up, Arizona. <laughs> oh, all right, it was me. What? Well, that didn't sound like Arizona to me. Well, of course it didn't. Not when I throw my voice. Listen to this. Listen, buddy. Don't twist my ear like that. No, no, there's no world we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just dawned on me. Arizona must have got his book on how to be a ventriloquist. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was a good joke on you, wasn't it? Oh, oh, shut up. Uh, we got our money's worth out of it, too. To see that whirlwind go after you in the barrel. <laughs> Alabama will sure laugh when he hears about this. Yeah, you know, uh, well, for one, I'm saying you did a good job of it, Arizona. That throwing your voice must not be so hard to do after all. Well, of course, I fix up things like that pretty easy. <laughs> Say, I hear a text singing to Alabama back in the bunkhouse. Let's go back and tell him what happened, shall we? Yeah, I don't see whirlwind talking all the time. How come he can tell? <laughs> Cookie still, still can't get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you loving my friend. Go where you will, on land or on sea, I'll share all your sorrows and cares. At a night when I kneel by my bedside to pray, I'll remember you loving my prayers. I've loved you too fondly to ever forget. Love you have spoken for me And the kiss of affection still warm on my lips When you told me how true you would be I know not if fortune be fickle or friend Or of time on your memory wears I know that I love you wherever you roam And remember you love in my prayers When the heavenly angels are guarding the God hath ordained them to do. In answer to prayers I have offered to him, I know there is one watching you. On may its bright spirits be with you through life to guide you up heaven's bright stairs. And meet with the one who has loved you so true and remembered to love him. Well, Alabama, I want you to meet the champion ventriloquist of the Red Horse Ranch. Uh, ahem. Pleased to meet you. I mean, uh, howdy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> By golly, Arizona, I did.
didn't know you had it in <laughs> Say, you. Alabama, I'll have to tell you about it, uh, Arizona. He sure had cookie fool. Well, out of whole, I'll finish that game of dominoes with you now. Sure, shuffle them up. I reckon you can sing while you're playing, fellas. Sure, start them off. Oh, I'd like to go back to old New Mexico. Back to the plains I used to roam. Ever since the day that I wandered far away, I thought about the place I once called home. I dream about the ranch house and the broken down Sage and yucca grow round my prairie home in old Well, it's Mr. Carter. Come on in, Mr. Carter. Well, good evening, boys. Uh, how's the head tonight, Alabama? He ain't bothering me a bit, Mr. Carter. Oh, hello, Mr. Bradford. Howdy, boys. I see you haven't been working too hard to sing in the evening. You any idea what a cowboy does in the daytime, Bradford? Uh, boys, uh, I've been talking to Steve here. He's been kind enough to offer his help with uh, Alabama being laid up. Help? Us? Yes. Uh, sorry you're not able to be up and around, Alabama, but uh, as long as you are this way, uh, Bradford's offered to take charge of the outfit on the roundup. That's right. Mm. But, Mr. Carter, you mean that I ain't going out on the roundup? No, uh, not until you get back on your feet again. And uh, feeling well. Uh, well, uh, I know you boys will work for Bradford the same as you've always worked for Alabama. Uh, well, I guess that's all. Good night. Uh, Good night, boys. Good night, boys. Well, you could trade me for a billy goat. Why, Jacks, I've held myself down long enough. That land-grabbing, bang-tailed, split-eared coyote, I wouldn't take his orders if Carter would give his herd to me. By grab, I don't like that, Bradford. I never did and I never will. Oh, you better come down out of the satellite. Why Idaho. don't you do something about it? Well, I reckon that's what I'm going to do, Idaho. <laughs> And Alabama doesn't get to go with the outfit on the roundup. Just how much is Alabama going to take from Steve Bradford before he fights back? How much? <laughs> <laughs> 